Hello, hello, and welcome to my first YouTube video. We are off to a special event today. Makeup Forever is celebrating the new release of their foundation, and they invited me along. So I thought I'd go, would give the foundation a try, and wear test all in one video, because we can do that when we do long form content. The celebration was up in Sydney Tower, and I've never been this high above the city. It was just the most stunning view. I truly could not get over it. I was also the first person to the event. People started filtering in and then we went to get our color matches. The color match for the Hydra Glow Foundation doesn't correlate to the original from the looks of it. So my original color didn't seem to exist. This lovely lady color matched me and I trust her with my life implicitly. Look at all the foundations stacked up side by side. The product was displayed beautifully. We got a goodie bag full of makeup forever. And we even got a little performance from Jack Fidkin who just has the most stunning voice and his skin looks stunning this whole performance. I cannot really overstate how surreal these brand events always are. This is only my second and I haven't gotten used to it. To be spoiled like this by a brand is just really, really peculiar. And we have the new Hydra Glow Foundation. So shall we try it on together? Give it a wee bit of a wear test to see what it's about. Reading off of this little pamphlet they gave me, it says that it's a luminous and glowy finish, medium buildable coverage, ideal for normal, dry and sensitive skin types, and it's an 86% skincare based formula. It sounds like I am the ideal demographic for this foundation. So we're going to test that out. I've done all my skin prep. So what I'm going to use as a primer is just my SPF. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyalusica Water Fit Sun Serum. It's my SPF, really. I think this can work beautifully as a primer on drier skin types. I find if you're into glowy skin, a glowy SPF can be a really beautiful primer because it helps preserve the glow throughout the day. And I just feel like my skin looks really pretty. And isn't that nice? Here she is. The color they matched me to is 1Y04. I used to be, I think, Y225 in the initial HD skin foundation. I used to use like the stick and the liquid, but it's been a while. She's looking a wee bit yellow at an initial glance, but I'm not gonna judge it because the woman who color matched me, she seems so competent. Let's put this on my skin. Giving her a good shake, just in case she needs it. You never know with a new formula. And my favorite method of initial application for a foundation is a spatula. I just find this gives a really beautiful, thin layer for me to work with. And it allows me to get a real idea as to what the foundation is like. I use this Philly Milly spatula. I love it very much. Look at this swipe. It's just very satisfying. And you see how thin the actual product is going down? I don't want to overload the skin with a ton of foundation because I don't really need it, let's be honest. Then I just take my beauty blender and I tap in the edges of the layer. I suspect that this is going to end up being a pretty decent match to my chest. It just, my face is a very different color. So this is one layer of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydra Glow Foundation. And I would say that my skin looks hydrated. I would say that it's living up to the name. Let's build it up. Let's see what we can do with it. Not my perfect shade, but workable. I'm not gonna lie. Looking at it in the camera, staring at my skin, my skin looks beautiful with this foundation. Like, my skin looks hydrated and even and glowy, and I kind of adore that. I'm kind of wondering why I stopped using the initial Makeup Forever foundation, other than just newness was thrown at me. This is two layers of the foundation. I wouldn't feel the need to build it up more than this. I'm sure you could get more coverage out of it, but this is kind of like the top end of the type of coverage I like to wear. So let me finish up the rest of the face. We'll see how product lays over the top of it. I can come back and we'll do a wear test. Like, look at my skin, uber close up. You can't tell me it's not pretty. I simply will not believe you. Okay, so this is the finished look with the foundation all set down. It's given it some time to settle into the skin. I almost feel like I used just a tad too much powder 
through the center of the face and it changed the finish in a way that I think makes it less special than initial application. So I'm going to want to play with that. But let's go take a look at this in natural lighting and then let's do a wear test. Also on the lips, I have the new Clio like Crystal Glam Balm in Honey Peach. This is stunning. I just want to keep applying it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Do recommend. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like in natural lighting. It's very luminous. This is not going to be for my oily skinned girls, but this is a dream for dry skin. I long for moisture. Let's see how it works. And this is the foundation after about eight and a half to nine hours. And I would say it's wearing exceptionally well, especially for a dewy foundation. If you look at me from a reasonable distance, I would say that the foundation looks freshly applied. If I bring you in, all the coverage is still pretty even. I'm not seeing any patching off. I'm not seeing breaking down. Even on my skin, dewy foundations can still break down and get too shiny throughout the day. So this is all very graceful. The only tiniest thing that I noticed is a tiny bit of creasing in the smile lines. And I would say that's pretty great. I really like it. I hope if you try, you really like it. I love you all so much and I'll see you another time. Bye.